shit. Granddad! You know, there's been Spooky Saturdays where um, I just haven't put this intro. Uh, I used to have to call them Spooky Saturdays, but they've been official Spooky Saturdays anyway, I guess. But anyway, guys, hello. Uh, we're going to do a spooky game. Um, and I've, you know, uh, there hasn't been a new update to Voice of the Void, which, you know, is kind of a Spooky Saturday in its own right. And I played Grey Hill Incident, which wasn't the best game it could have been. But here's another alien-related game. So um, it's called Incident at... Grove Lake, yes, and I don't know if it's gonna be any good. I like subtlety to my horror, uh, or I need it to be complete bananas, you know. But this is uh, another game it came out on itch.io and it's uh, been pretty popular as of late. I haven't played it myself, I know nothing about it, but uh, the word incident uh, surely makes me a little wary that you'll get a gun. <laughs> Maybe incident means just ch -ch. I'm not sure, but uh. Yeah, why not? Why not? See, all I want is just like aliens at the window to creep me out. That's all I need. But we're gonna check it out and see see what it's all about. Apparently Markiplier played this, which... Uh, I don't know too many YouTubers that dabble into like alien horror. I guess it's just a niche thing, you know? I find it incredibly scary because it hits like home. But uh, I don't know for other people. Like I feel like everybody else is gonna, is gonna go like, Haha, look at the boogers. Ha ha ha. You know? But anyway, uh, we're going to check this out and see what it's all about. I don't know if it's a long or short game. All I know is that it's been getting pretty good, uh, like, publicity. And people are saying it's it's pretty spooky. So, uh, hey, let's give it a try. Why are you scared of aliens? Oh, I saw I saw a pretty crazy UFO as a kid. And I thought and I kind of validated my already uh, spooky opinion about, uh, you know, aliens. In one sitting, headphones recommended. Oh, okay. Okay, incident at Grove Lake. So it's more... It looks a little PlayStation 1-y, but... Okay. Setting visual windowed, sound off. Okay, wasp move, look, interact, left click. You know what I should have said? Interact slash shoot. And I've already... <laughs> I'm already in. I'm in, boys. Let's, let's give it a try. Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Don't mix religion and alien shit. It's a, it's a bad combo. Unless they mean literally, like, they're angels. People say that. Is that Area 51? Oh, you bet. You betcha. Remember the, the stuff where people raided Area 51? And it's just turned into a big commercial to, like, sell merchandise. Okay. Some people say they're fallen angels. Okay, that's a little too much, but whatever. Front gate. Okay, something is coming. We come in peace. Piss this. Okay, huh? Initializing scan. Am I gonna play Mega Man X? Connecting to server. Dedicated wham. Host client reached. Beep 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 boop pop beep. Am I connecting my modem? Connecting to live audio. Connected. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I am connected to the modem. <laughs> Dial up. Remember that movie, The Phone Booth? I thought it was a really good movie. I haven't seen it in about 20 years, but I thought it was good. Target, appreciate you taking my call. Dude, this, this game has slight nuances of puppet combo. And if there's a puppet combo game where there's a gray alien chasing you through the woods, that might actually be fucking terrifying. Let's get this straight. You got out unnoticed. Medical discharge. They think I have kidney stones. Huh, not so smart as they think at S4, huh? Smarter than you know. So can we meet? Sure, let's make it a public place. Remember, I don't have a lot of time. Neither do I. Let's say the, the diner on... Works for me. I'll bring what I found. 
Good. I'll see you soon. Huh? Remember what I have risked for this. Uh, I remember. Okay. It's got a good atmosphere so far. I like it. Let's see where it goes though. Huh? Pepperidge Farms, Farms members. Somewhere north of Nevada. September 9th, 97. Okay. A little late for VHS, but whatever. No, not really. It's kind of around that era. Okay. Not exactly how I intended or expected this game to be starting, but I like it. Vinyls. Yeah. I had a ton of VHS in 97. Oh, no, so, so did I. But I mean, more like, it feels like VHS for me is like early 90s. You know, like, you know, watching like Jurassic Park or Temple of Doom on VHS. And I like, and during the late 90s, it was like, I don't know, I wasn't watching a lot of VHS. Oh, my God. Yeah, 97 is, okay. I thought it was just the aliens crossing the street. I'm like, holy shit. Okay, dude, this game has good atmosphere, but this, the moment there's a theremin, theremin UFO going, I'm gonna be like, oh god. See, it's all about being conservative about it. Okay, you don't blow it. Was that him, the guy? Okay, not there. Breakfast. Is that you? Talk to stranger. Okay, a little eerie right now, but sure. Hey, buddy. Thank you for coming. I'm just saying that DVDs, I think my family had an early DVD player in like the year 2000. I didn't know who else to tell. I've risked so much getting here. They're following me. I don't have much time. P -p Please take these. Some files, you just want to make tapes they have. Get this stuff to the public. They need to know before it's too late. If I don't hear from you by the 11th, I'm going public with this. It's a radio station I know of, you know. Art Bell. Please go and be careful. They'll follow you too. Okay, I guess I'll take this. Uh oh. Is that the FBI? Yeah. The last, the last uh, VHS ever made was made in 2001 or two? No, four actually, four. I think it was called History of Violence. Okay, so we have are these UFO sightings. Uh, pick up tape. Okay. Oh god, is it gonna be nighttime now? It's gonna be like a knock on the window. No, okay, I'm in the city. See, this, this is this is why I am a city person, right? I could, even if the if, if there was a house by the woods that was a ginormous nice house it was in the middle of the fucking woods I would be paranoid constantly because that's when shit happens being in a city it's like you know rent sucks but hey no aliens so good 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 look at documents we have some various shapes and stuff now what I saw in the sky as a kid was none of this kind of stuff you know what I saw, on the other hand, was uh, more like that. Ugh. You know, what I saw, on the other hand, was like this, 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 and it was going wium, wium, wium. and it had like a one in this middle too. You know, and I'll I'll tell the story again because I've told this about a hundred times. But uh, long story short, you've heard the story if you don't know. Uh, I don't know how old I was, nine, ten, whatever. Me and my friend went to the park, daylight, middle of the day. We go over there, and there's like a big soccer field where the park is. And, you know, it's just this weird fucking thing floating in the sky. Not like way up there, but like, you know, moderately up there. And some kid goes, hey, look, we're being invaded. Uh. And keep in mind, at the time, I've already had like fears of aliens because I think I saw fire in the sky. I thought X-Files was creepy. I'm like, man, my God, these giant, like giant eye gray weirdos they sure creep me out and like they were i you know i was i wasn't like deathly afraid of it but i thought oh it's creepy you know because they they like abduct people in the middle of the night you know like Ooh. and when you're a kid too like when you wake up in the middle of the night and you hear a creak in the floorboards just like a little you're like oh what is that 
and my parents was sleeping you know in a different part of the the apartment and where my room was i had to like cross across the living room to get to where they were and we had a moderately sized living room but it had a window out to that football field always and in the middle of the night i would have like nightmares there was somebody standing there you know shit was creepy you know so i already had a little pretense of you know but anyway uh heard that story but anyway me and my friend standing in the middle of the park one of the kids points towards this weird light thing in the sky and goes haha look we're being innovated by by ufos aliens ha 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 and at that point i'm like what but what is that what is that and this is like random kids standing looking at this thing and this is a weird feeling but when you when you look at something that does not belong or like it just feels like i shouldn't be seeing this there's a weird sickening feeling in your stomach like what the fuck what is that and at that point even at a young juvenile mind i felt like okay reality is being blurred here like am i actually seeing a ufo is this actually like the end of the world is this an actual alien invading in a ufo what is that because i knew like that's not a plane it's not a goddamn balloon Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little spooked out here because I don't know. It's 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 a weird personal story. But anyway, I'm seeing this thing and my friend and I'm like, what the fuck is that? What is that? You know. And we're just looking at it, and eventually it starts moving. And again, it's just it's this kind of thing with a circle and or like an orb in the middle, and it's just going. And then over the the forest, it goes disappears. I ran home. My friend, and my friend wasn't taking it seriously. He's like, I don't know what that is. Ha ha ha. But I ran home and I was like crying like, mom, 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 dad, 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 dad. And I can't believe I'm telling the story again. You know the story by now, but whatever. And they were like, my, my parents were kind of like, they've always been into like Star Trek and sci-fi. And they, they didn't think it like 100% serious, but like you clearly saw something that was fucked up. You know, and again, it's coming from a kid. So at that point... And I know I'm boring you guys by telling the stories so or whatever. But coming from a kid, it could be like, dude, he's imagined it. He saw like a kite in the sky, you know. But I knew what I saw. And it stuck with me ever since. Cause it, was, it was so clear as crystal what I saw. And, and at that point, I felt all my fears had been validated. You know what I mean? Like, you know, all those weird documentaries in the 90s are like, I was abducted by an alien. They came in the middle of the night. They froze my body up and they stuck syringes in my eyeballs. I was like, that was all real. They weren't making that shit up. And the worst part, I heard a rumor or whatever that if you make a sort of visual connection with a UFO, they've noticed you, right? Up until that point, it, like if you're aware of it, if you are a person that is afraid of it, they seek you out, you know? And you have to remember, I was already afraid of this shit. And having seen that in the daylight, when I was sleeping, it was... It was the worst. You know, I, I was like, hey, hey, mom and dad, is it okay if I like scoot in between you guys tonight? Like, cause I'm like, no, 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 no. Just, 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 I don't know how I, how I manage, but you know, I still, to this day, I still, I, this is a very embarrassing story. And I know you're like, dude, play the fucking game already. But to this day, I, I occasionally have, and again, you I know you're making fun of me, but I still to this day get like alien fucked up um, nightmares. I do. I, re I really do. Because like, even in the context of the dream, I'm like nine or 10 again. But it's like, you know, when you're in a nightmare, you're in a, you're in a nightmare when you know, you can tell it's a nightmare when you're like, oh, now I can't wake up. I can't fucking wake up. And you just feel this like, okay, fuck, the nightmare's about to begin. You're like, fuck, 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 fuck. You know, and I'll, I'll have nightmares. Uh, I had one a while ago. And again, I'm moving on to the game here in a second. But I have like creepy nightmares where I'm still, you know, a kid at my parents' place. And in the dream, I wake up and I need to go take a pee or something, right? And as I'm going to take a pee, I'm crossing the living room nobody there go take a pee go back and then they hear like a footstep and it's just like a long shadow person pointing at me in the living room that it's all dark yeah. but the problem is i freeze up and it's just like static playing and this thing is like hovering closer and closer to me 
And I'm trying to be like, mm, dead, mm, I'm dead. And he's like, wake up in a cold fucking sweat. And it's awful, you know. But, like, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's clearly fucked me up. But we all, we all have irrational fears and stuff like that. And, uh, again, I want to I wanna put the... the a thing on this and say i don't think what i saw was specifically aliens per se i don't think that necessarily you know it was some sort of extraterrestrial thing i don't know what ufos are either um and i don't claim anything i just knew that i saw something very very crazy one day and uh i just it just kind of i wouldn't say scarred me but it definitely like haunted me and, you know, the, the thing is, though, again, you have to understand, when you hear crazy stories and you laugh at them, and you're like, that person is clearly loony, right? They, they are, they're, they're like, making shit up to sell a t-shirt. And because I play video games, you can be like, Ew, he's just making shit up. But I really have nothing to gain by telling the story. Um, I just, I just know that whatever that was uh i'll never get closure on it because unless i have a goddamn time machine to find out what that was you know and i you know my friend i i i don't know where he lives now but i, I want to connect with him and be like do you remember that shit what the fuck was that you know uh it could be a false memory no no because i've talked to it about dad i could like you know have lunch with him be like remember what i saw remember what i told you you know i don't know but my, my point is uh when other people see crazy shit and you laugh at them and then it happens to you then all the bets are off you're like okay okay you weren't crazy but now i also look like the crazy one by telling this you know so my point is my point is i don't really have a point i just want to tell the story again so um i just find it creepy i just find it creepy and weird and that there's no explanation for it but then you see like the the, the government releasing these like uh f-16 jet plane videos of them seeing something out at sea that's moving super fast that they can't catch up to uh you're like what the fuck is going on you know but ultimately i also think this i whatever this is uh i don't know what it is but i don't know if i necessarily believe in alien abduction stuff it is creepy and weird you know but uh uh I also think that like gray aliens landing in front of the White House to contact Mr. Obama and saying we want to make peace with you is never going to happen because clearly aliens are smart enough to not land because we would like make them into barbecue. OK, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I also feel what's his name? Bob Lazar and all these UFO dudes that go to the press and be like, Yes, we, we, I was working at Area 59 back in the 1960s, and we found a crystal that levitated. Rem Lazar, whatever fucking name is. It's just like, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Again, I, I have nothing really more to say about it, except that I just saw some crazy shit, and, uh, yeah. And I, you know, you probably know somebody that saw something similar or maybe a ghost or something like that and you can say yeah this this rational explanation and i 100 percent believe that but sometimes stuff is just unexplainable and the only thing that you have to back it up is just i saw it once you know so i don't know again i i really nothing else to say about it yeah and now that i've given a creepy context and uh, <laughs> you know, uh, explanation behind all this stuff, then, uh, you know, th this is all the more awful. Oh, my God. Uh, that is fucked. If that's in the game, oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's a little creepy. Yeah. Watch tape. Uh. Okay, what is this going to be? Yeah. Uh? The following tape is property of the United States government. Incident 17. Example of encounter type F. Copying and distributing of this tape is strictly prohibited. Classification of this content is reserved by members with TCSCI clearance. 
The following took place August 19, 2197, Grove Lake. Tape was discovered and handed to local authorities September 1st. Please contact your facility supervisor on conclusion of this tape as outlined in Section 4B. Par okay. A lot of security clearance here, but... Uh Okay. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that, dude. No, 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 no. No, I, I absolutely am not gonna dig this out in the woods. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck that. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Wonderful. Just strolling in the woods. But many stories of, like, just people seeing weird shit in the woods. You know, my dad actually has a has a UFO story, but it wasn't like he saw something. It was more so like he felt it was being chased by something in the woods, and there was like a light. And it's like there wasn't UFOs, but it was really weird. <laughs> Rednecks, Skeeter, get him! We got us one of them Switzerland peoples. Is it gonna be? Oh, no, 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 you fool. Get out of the woods. Okay. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Don't like that. The day after. God is coming. I'm getting like chills from this. And it's not even cool in my part. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, horror games don't make me really feel much, but like, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. I'm getting chills again. Write his name down. Balls of steel. <laughs> balls, balls, balls. I kill you old style. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes! Fucking hell. Quit it. Bird scare me. It's like the rocks and voice of the void. Ooh, rocks. Ooh, stones. Stone Luigi. Okay. Don't people like believe that birds are fake? You know? Is it conspiracy theory? It's like they're robots or something? This is where I was camping last night too. See, you know, you know what I was, what I'm fearing about this game? Because I know nothing about it. Uh, it's the fact. Those are birds. Okay. Uh, it's because th th this filter is the same filter that plays in the puppet combo games. When the, psy the psycho axe murder is near and there's that incredibly loud sound. You're right. And it's like the killer is nearby, so I'm like just <laughs> you know. Oh mama mia. Tweet 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 tweet. You know when the video that says interferencia? Because when something paranormal is going on. Yeah. So I said, do you also fear getting probed? The alien abduction stuff isn't that, like, scary as much as, like, being in your house and somebody getting you? I don't know. Please turn the supplied handbook to page 42. What is this, I quiz trivia thing? Beep. The first kind. Visual sightings of an unidentified flying object seemingly less than 500 feet away that show an appropriate Appreciable angular extension and considerable detail. Is that what I saw? Did I saw a C C E one? <laughs> close encounter one? Is that it? I know the close encounters of the third kind, the Steven Spielberg movie, is actually encountering them. Okay. This is gonna scare the shit out of Joe Lol. Uh yeah. Look, Ma! I'm throwing my hat. Oh, okay. Back in the 90s, my parents saw a strange blue light glowing from inside my grandfather's 
office room. They thought it was just my grandfather working in one of the computers until they saw him walk out from some other room. My grandfather swears that no one was in there and all the computers were turned off. Okay. A UFO event with a physical effect such as interference, animal reactions, or physical trace like impressions in the ground, scorch or otherwise affected, affected vegetation or a chemical trace. You know what I think is fucking creepy as hell? Dude, they say that, like, animals have some sort of, like, weird sixth sense of the paranormal. You ever have, like, encountered, like, a dog that, like, just stands up and is, like, afraid of fucking nothing in the middle of the room? I'm like, what the fuck is it? You know. Um, and, like, what the, what's wrong with you? You know. Like, they can feel something's going on in the air, you know. Um... And of course, you can always say, like, but this is like because animals have incredible smells, or like, you know, they hear more of higher pitch, whatever it is. But uh, dogs have hu huge imaginations. Yeah, I know, I know. And they might hear some, like, whatever. But uh, cats staring at a corner of the room. You know, you know what this crazy shit is? Okay, hear me out. <laughs> you know, how cats are callous and don't give a shit. If you have a cat and a gray alien would like invade your house, that cat would probably just be like, meow. It wouldn't be like, Hah. it wouldn't give a shit. It'd probably be like, can you give me pets or a treat? Meow. <laughs> like, you give her care. Yeah, that's where you get a dog. Cats are just idiots, though. Wow. I don't know, there was a news report about a woman that was saved from a burglar because she had a cat that attacked the burglar, it was on the news. Like, on some channel, but whatever. Okay. The third kind. UFO encounters in which an, an animated entity is present. These include humanoids, robots, and humans who seem to be occup occupants or pilots of a UFO. Um, I talked about this with Vinny, like, a thousand years ago, but... Uh, Vinny read somewhere that, like, some people have theories that the gray alien are robots. Like, they they are soulless, essentially. That's why they don't, they don't have anything behind the eyes. And it's just another civilization that made them and sent them out to just extrapolate information by abducting people. Like, they're drones. Which is fucking actually really creepy. Um, so they, they have no, like, compassion or empathy for what they're doing, they just like do it. They're biological drones, you know. Uh, that's pretty spooky. The fourth kind, a close encounter of the fourth kind, is a UFO event in which a human is abducted by a UFO or its occupants. No, I don't want to go to work today. Fuck off. The following is an example of CE two. Please identify on your workbook any for okay. Real shit. The black eyes are context too. I, I think uh, Fire in the Sky made it so that they're suits essentially. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You see, you see a lot. Oh, okay, dude. I, I know of this kind of stuff. The Arizona light, the Phoenix lights. Yeah. Dude, this kind of shit is too frequent in the sky. Dude, I'm sure most people have seen some shit like that where like, oh, these satellites are acting a little weird. Like just stars like go doo, 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 and then they stop and then they continue. Like that shouldn't be like, what the fuck? You don't think much of it, but you know. Uh... Oh, great. Uh... You get out of the woods. Uh... Well, it's not too late for this guy, I guess. Uh... Oh, man. In the middle of the woods? Oh, man, I'm freaked out for this. I'm going to have a goddamn heart attack. I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. Not fun. Not fun. It's going to... Yo, Skrillex. Yeah, that's not, uh... That's not good. 
that's not good. That's not good. 20th Century Fox. Okay. Yo, Squirrel. Like, what do you even do at this point? I would use Bugs Bunny. I would use Bugs Bunny. This. I would just literally dig a hole in the floor and just start digging. I dig to China. You know? Yeah, sure. Let's go on a cabin in the woods. Okay, I can tell already this is about 20 million times better than Grey Hill Incident. Okay, I know that that's the... People theorized that that triangle UFO... Oh, lovely! Lovely! F fun! Okay, it's actually like a... Uh, Area 51 thing. Oh, you're bringing the camera with it too. Okay. It's a lot like fire in the sky. And we've woken up in the... UFO. Oh, 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 we're in here. Oh, we're in Zen. See, you're showing a little too much right now, game. See, it's the fear of the unknown that's scary, but when you're actually on here... Ah, whatever, I'll take it, I'll take it. It's a little fleshy. Uh, okay, you better not start talking. What happened to this guy? He got impaled. All right. Well, you have fun with that. Oh, there's several people. <laughs> Contemplate this on the tree of woe. Not too pleasant experience, I take it. <laughs> what happened to these people? Did he just abduct a bunch of trees and it... Thunk, oops. What the hell? Okay. A bunch of impalements going on. <laughs> Couldn't you imagine just uploading this to YouTube, the video footage? And there's like three people... <laughs> three people just commenting, Fake. First. It's been out for three years. Nobody cares. Okay. <laughs> cool video. YouTube kids. <laughs> oh, lovely. Who's dragging me? Wee! I'm going to the slide. They took off my pants? Okay. Well, well now. Oh, it's Duendes. Oh, he's, he's enjoying it. He's loving it. This is just like fire in the sky. They're gonna put a syringe in his eyeball. Okay. We got a big alien too. This is quite literally fire in the sky. This was happened to the guy. He was like, yeah, there was a bunch of small aliens and a big one, I think. Okay. And the camera's left off. Like, no battery. It's all right. I don't think the guy was enjoying it too much. He was like, you know, I, I'm digging what you're doing. I'm having fun, but I got to get home. I got to have some dinner. Jeopardy's on him. So that I get it. They're exercising the exercising the demons out of him. What a nice touch. The tape is not concluded. No further footage was re recoverable. Tape will be added to the archive section four. Please not contact your facility supervisor for your psychoanalysis and debriefing. You'll be signing up and completing from F2 UAU up for okay. Your discretion is a matter of national security. Please remember your oath and those who came before you. Imagine actually seeing some shit like that. I, I would almost say this. Th this sounds stupid, but I think actually the, the, the PlayStation 1 style is detrimental to this. We're like... You can imagine this looking more. Like, I actually would prefer more realistic graphics. Because I want to be like, make it seem like this actually happened. You know? Actually watching a tape like that and be like, holy fuck. Yeah. So that I think it would look worse. I don't know, maybe. I like the style, though. But I think maybe a more realistic style would have been better. I'm, I'm not sure. how. Okay, let me watch another tape here or... Yeah. 
United States. Mexico. Follow tone. Question mark, question mark. Hey, it's a San Andreas UFO map. Okay, please don't end the game with like a bunch of UFOs invading. Okay, documents. Th this is a fucking awful image. This is a scary ass fucking image. Answer door? No. Uh. Hey, can I get my FBI issued uh, 357 revolver, please? Do not answer the knock at the door. Okay. Okay, dude. First of all, it can't be aliens because aliens wouldn't fucking be knocking. Aliens would just like radical Larry's for the wall. You know, they didn't give a shit. Oh boy, I guess we have to. Answer door. No, oh, jeez. Okay, it's dudes. It's dudes. The man in black. <laughs> okay. What up? On 7-Eleven, talk show host Art Bell received a frantic call from- I've heard this. I've heard this. If you guys have never heard this, ready for this shit. I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, let's begin by finding out whether you're using this putting this in this or not. Uh, area, area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and and <laughs> I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh man, I don't know where to start. There. there uh, they're, they're gonna, um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone, so give us something quick. Okay, um, um, okay, what, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra-dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the, um, space program made contact with. Uh, they, they are not what they claim to be, uh, they have infiltrated a lot of, uh, uh a lot of aspects of, of, of the military establishment, particularly... I knew McDonald's beef one. tasted terrible. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they, the, the military, I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them, and... There's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to. Now. I'm gonna be in the bathroom for this. But they're not doing. They're not doing anything. They are not. They want the major population centers wiped out. Bacon says in chat. Bro is experiencing the meat sweats live on the show. Left will be more easily controllable. Discharge. <laughs> I, I Ain't that something? Connection lost. Real, real call, by the way. If you weren't aware of that. Too. The weird part is that about this is that the station got cut off during the phone call. I've heard a lot of people speculate about this, that somebody said, oh, it's just really good acting. Or it's like, oh, this guy called in later and said, hey, man, it was a prank. Did I get you? Whatever. Yeah, but the dude was lying. Um, the whole system went down. I think fake. Yeah. Good acting. Well, the thing is that that kind of sucks about it. I mean, let's, let's give it the, the, the benefit of the doubt. If you are in a bad place and you're crying or you're being stressed out and people say like yeah you're not crying enough for this to be real that must really be sucking for that person because they're like how the fuck should i act you know i don't know but i'm, I'm not trying to like give that any validity or like make make it fake it's just a matter of fact that that phone phone thing was recorded so um some of that make him cut onions it's creepy for sure it's creepy 
But, uh, you know, normal people can't act like that. Though. If anything, what I've learned is that when really bad shit goes down and people on YouTube are recording it, like, <laughs> they act like, they act too casual about it. Like, if there's, like, a rocket being launched towards the the point of view on the camera, they just be like, Yo, bro, what the fuck? Whoa. Huh. Whoa. Dude, nice. What? Yo, bro, what the fuck, lol? Uh, what about people vomiting over Duendes? <laughs> but uh, I think the game is over now. That was pretty good. It that was pretty good. I would say um, it is very similar to um, to uh, Fire in the Sky, very close to it. And I would say for what it is, it's a short little game, but uh, I, I enjoyed it, and it was far better than Grey Hell Incident was because, well, quite frankly, you know, it was a matter of fact. You got abducted, or well, this person that got abducted. But uh, I, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really, really good, man. You know, um, and there's another game called They Are Here Prologue that is like kind of similar to this with more realistic graphics. I saw it, I think, was it on Steam? I, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I might check that out too. Uh, this isn't necessarily filler content before the next Voice of the Void update, but I, it is one of the few niche things in the horror subgenre that I do find a little uh, unpleasant to play, you know. And it it, t it takes an amount of like strength for my for me mentally to go through these games because I mean I'm I'm joking and stuff like that but I, I I legitimately get creeped up by this kind of shit mainly because it's just so so weirdly cold you know the the abduction stuff like well, what what kind of like entities out there in space would like just like stick shit in our skin and experiment on us and leave us like. It's just weird, you know, like, you know, do I believe in alien abductions? Uh, I certainly think that uh, things are unexplainable, but uh, just like how I saw my UFO story that gave a lot of UFO sightings validity, I don't think it, I don't think, I don't think, I might be dumb, uh, but there are certainly things to life that are unexplainable and for whatever they are, uh, it certainly makes for a fascinating um, media to to speculate about, you know. So I don't know if they viewed us like we view most animals; they wouldn't have any apprehension about experimenting on us. That's the, that's the interesting part, you know. I've always seen it. This sounds really fucked up, but just just hear me hear me out on this. Let's say <laughs> this is really out there, really really out there. Alien civilization takes over Earth. I, you're, you've already lost me, right? They take over Earth and they just like fuck our shit up, and they treat us like dog shit and experiment on us, and we like City Seventeen shit, and you know. And they treat us like garbage and put us in cages and shit like that. And then we're like, this is inhumane. Why are you doing this? And then the little Duende Marcianito alien is like, well, isn't that how you treated rabbits? Cattle? And chickens? That's right. We're vegan aliens and we're here to fuck your shit up. And we're like, oop, oh, sorry. And that's why you should buy free range eggs. Ladies and gentlemen, this whole stream has been a... Uh, hidden subtle thing to get good chicken eggs no peta aliens <laughs> could you imagine torturing an alien <laughs> like an alien gray like we got you now we got you now imagine how fucking cathartic that is like how the fuck would it react be like who is laughing now who is laughing now and you start like Tickling him, and then it turns into fetish content, which isn't good. But, uh... Uh... You know, hey. You ever seen District 9? Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good movie, actually. But listen, everybody, I really enjoyed this game. 
obviously I'm going to put my little unique flair on it because I like to play games and kind of laugh at them too. But for what it was, it was a nice short little game, little short story. And I think it had a creepy factor to it. So I, I, I give it a thumbs up. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool game. Pretty cool game, everybody. Anyway, guys, uh, we have more games to go tonight. We're actually going to be referring to Lifeline here in a sec. So sit tight and more games coming up. But yeah, check this game out. It's called uh, Incident at uh, Grove Lake. You probably much saw all of it. Maybe you can find something I don't find. So I don't know. Give it a try. Anyway, guys, I'll be right back. Sit tight and games coming up. Don't go nowhere.